Which type of hormone receptor, plasma membrane, or intracellular would be expected to provide the most long-lived response to hormone binding and why? The intracellular would be the longest, most-lived response to hormone binding because it has to go in all the way to the nucleus where it does direct gene activation. And that can take hours and days to see effects. Um, once it reaches the uh, nucleus, it has to transcribe the DNA um, on specific genes for protein synthesis, which is a longer process versus the secondary messenger um, where the hormone connects on the outside of the cell. And the cyclic, uh, or cyclic AMP um, catalyzes longer or faster in response versus the longer intracellular. And for Roger Peterson with arthritis and who is experiencing colds and puffy um, skin, the uh, glucocorticoids, glucocorticoids um, their purpose is to um, help your body uh, maintain external stressors like temperature and different intakes of food. So by being prescribed per nosium, um, the medication that has the glucocorticoids, that's really hard to say, um, your blood sugar will be maintained, um, your metabolism will be rearranged, so it will start to feel warmer, and the cell fluid is going to return into the cells, so he won't have the kind of um, swelling that he would have. That's that.